How is it going guys? I'm One Purpose Fishing and today I have a how to fishing for dummies video. And I'm going to tell you a little about this series since this is the first video in my series. All I'm pretty much doing is giving you tutorials on fishing, different kind of rigs, how to throw different things. And that's pretty much what it is. It's fishing for dummies. If you don't know how to fish, check out my videos. Anyways, today I'm going to be showing you how to wacky rig and the must have tool for any fisherman that has ever thrown a stick bait or thought about throwing a stick bait and it's called the wacky rig tool. So I got myself two stick baits right here, two different hooks and my wacky rig tool. So let me go ahead and show you how you're going to rig a wacky rig. Now that we're all up close and personal, let me go ahead and show you what we're going to do. Um, go, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, just wacky rig without the wacky rig tool first. So I got myself a uh, Gary Yamamoto uh, Senko right here and I'm going to use my um, extra wide gap hook. So what you're pretty much going to want to do is what I do is I fold them in half so I can get it right in the middle. You're going to fold it in half and you're going to get your hook and you're going to stick it right through the middle. And stick it through there. Just like that. To where it sits like that. And so whenever it sinks, it's going to wobble just like this. Not as much because you know you're in water, but about like that much. It's going to wobble going down. And most, like nine times out of ten, fish, the bass are going to hit while it's falling because it's going to have that action. And then whenever you uh, jerk it a little bit, um, twitch it, it's going to go, it's going to fold down just like that right there. Whenever you pull on it. And then you're going to want to let it sink again. And then you're going to pull on it and then let it sink again. Uh, that's really going to drive the bass crazy is just that motion right there. As you can see how much motion it has uh, right here, you know it's going to drive the fish crazy. So another way you can actually rig, uh, rig it is if you pull it out, um, fish always bite for the head. So um, some people will offset, offset a little bit, put it right in the middle of the egg sac. The, which is the smooth part in case you didn't know that. So it's going to sit a little off like that. And then uh, it's still going to move. But whenever the fish go to bite it, they're going to be closer to the hook. Um, so that's just another way that you can actually rig it. Um, this is a baby bass color Senko in case you were wondering. But that's pretty much how it's going to sit and how it's going to look whenever you rig it that way. So let me go ahead and tell you about what I have right here, which is my wacky rig tool. You can pick these up just about uh, anywhere. Uh, I got mine from Bass Pro. So um, let me give you a little close, uh, clearer look on this tool. Now this is essentially the tool right here. It's just a tube with small O-rings on the end. And I'm just going to tell you what you're going to do and then you're going to show you. All you do pretty much is stick your stick bait in there and then you're going to pull one of these O-rings off and you're going to stick it right on the middle of the bait. And I will tell you why. Let's go. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for you right here. Uh, you always stick it in tail first. So I'm sticking this in there. And I usually pull it out because I kind of got down where the middle is. But before you stick it in, you can go ahead and fold it so you have an idea of where it's actually going to be, the middle is. So it's going to be about right there. So I got it in there. And then you're going to grab one of these O-rings. I got to pull it off. And it's just going to grasp right on there. Um, these, these wacky rig tools are only about 7 bucks, so you're not breaking the bank buying one. Now you may be asking why, why even use a wacky rig. All it does is cause more work and put an o-ring on there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you why right here. Um, depending on what kind of bait that you're using, like the Gary Yamamoto... Uh, Senkos are super fragile because they're super um, infused with salt. So um, if you have it rigged up and a fish comes up, it's just going to pull it straight out of there because it's so fragile that it just busts straight through the bait. So you're going to have a lot more broken baits. And we all know how how expensive these are so we don't really want to lose such good baits so that's why you're gonna that's where the o-ring comes in handy right here because then you get your hook now I'm using a just a regular worm hook right here 
you stick this right through the ring. What I like to do whenever I rig it is I get my worm hook and I stick it right next to it and then I put it through and then I come out on the other side of the o-ring. So you're probably wondering why the o-ring actually helps. Well, whenever you fish a lot with something, the bait's going to be worn out and it's going to start to tear. And then it's going to keep on tearing. And then once it tears, it'll the o-ring will, will catch it. And uh, it just keep, prevents your baits from getting worn out so easily. Like, see how hard it is to actually tear it off compared to the other one. Now, whenever it does tear off, this is one of the coolest things that I've experienced. It's whenever it does tear off, I'm not going to tear this worm because I don't want to lose it again. But uh, most times whenever it does tear off, the only thing left on your hook is your O-ring. I've had Gar take the bait, all that was left on it was the O-ring. I've had Bass take the bait, all that was left on it was the O-ring. It's happened so many times that only the O-ring is left. Even after reeling it in, after it took my bait, all that was left was the O-ring. So, the main purpose for a wacky rig tool is to conserve your bait even longer. Now, I'm going to show you one more method that you can do with the wacky rig tool. If you get the wacky rig, you can put the bait in there. Let me take off one more O-ring here. If you have enough O-rings, you take two, and then you cross them over. Now, the way that crossing them over, what it really does, you cross them, and then you stick your hook right in between them. And then come out in between them as well. So this way, whenever a fish does pull on it, you have you can hook it straight and you won't have to hook it sideways. Because whenever you hook it sideways, the fish are gonna they might they're gonna miss it because this is how they're gonna bite it, is they're gonna bite it like that. Um, so this way you can hook it perfectly straight and it's gonna sit perfectly straight. Now some people they hook their wacky rig like this. They stick it under the O ring just like that to where it sits like that but then the hooks right there and um, you're gonna miss a lot of hook sets if you do it that way so that's why uh, you can use the double o-ring method to where you can stick the hook right through the middle or with one o-ring you can do what I showed you and just go down the side and come out the other side just like that and it's uh, the hooks not completely straight but it's not completely sideways either so you're still gonna land a lot more fish so that's how you're going to want to use the wacky rig, and that's how you actually wacky rig. So guys, that's how you wacky rig a stick bait, and that is also how you use the wacky rig tool. Now the wacky rig tool, like I said, is a must-have for anybody that's ever used a stick bait, wants to use a stick bait, or has a stick bait. So you're going to want to pick these up. You can pick them up at uh, like a Field and Streams Academy, uh, Bass Pro Shop, Cabela's, any of those places. And anyways, that's all I really got. It's super simple wacky rigging, and it's definitely one of the most effective ways to rig a stick bait. You're going to want to be throwing wacky rigs uh, around docks. Um, anytime I'm fishing brush, uh, I, I just stick with a Texas rig. So that's all I got for you in this video, guys. Go ahead and click uh, right there to subscribe and right there for a, another video. That is all I got for you today. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and will continue to watch more. Anyways, guys, I'm One Purpose Fishing, and I would love to thank you for watching.